Okay, I'm making another CAM Studio recording here for my uh, mobile history class. Uh, today the topic is how to prepare a perfect, a perfect stop. What should be there on a complete stop? We're getting near the end here. I want to make sure that what you turn in is complete and you can get the best grade possible. So for an example of a good stop, I'm looking at one of Tracy Rebstock's stocks here. This is her stop, one of her Manitou Park stops, Muir Pond. First of all, what are the elements here? You see her text. She has uh, one, two, three, four paragraphs of text. It's about right. Double space, two hard returns between them. She was not cut and pasted out of Microsoft Word. See, she has an audio file. In this case, she has two audio files with some interesting stories that do not duplicate the text. And she has four images, uh, four historic images. Let me click on the image. Or I'll just highlight over it. And I want you to notice something. Um, let's try that again. There we go. Notice down here, she has a caption for the image, Winter Sport on Manitou Lake, circa 1910. And then below that, she has a credit, image from the Spokane Washington Improvement Company, blah, 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 blah. Um, that's how you want to do it. Also, look down at the end of her entry, Related Sources. This is a bibliography for that entry. I had Tracy uh, remind you in class last week, in case you hadn't heard, hadn't picked it up, it's important to have that uh, for each of your stop. I kind of think it should be double spaced here. Um, other than that, this is absolutely perfect. Now, let's, that's how this is. That's the public side of it. That's what people will see when they go to the uh, Spokane Historical website. Let's take a look at the um, at the private side for which we'll have to edit this item. Click down here. And there we go. Uh, there's the back end. You can see how it's done. There's her title. You need to fill in a title for your stops. Um, short uh, as possible, descriptive. It could just be the name of the place. It could hint at the story. Uh, they don't all have to be alike. Subject, leave subject blank. Narrative text, here's where you put your text in. You paste it, not from Word. Creator. This, I believe, is populated automatically because it's your account. This is what people will see. This is how you'll get credit for it. And notice down here, related sources. And I think I can grab this little corner and expand that. There it is. Related sources is the bibliography for this site. Um, and here it's kind of run together. Um, she has a comma between each. I guess that's okay. I'd, I'd experiment with double spacing that. Um, there. But you, anyway, the point is, you need to have your related sources also. A bibliography, not just for your whole project, a separate bibliography for each stop. If you go up here along the side, let me point something else out too. Uh, if you go to Files, that's where you edit your files for like your, your photographs. And if we click on one of those, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's close out of that. If you If we go to the Edit, for the metadata, we see here's the title of the of the uh, file. Oops, that's an audio. Let me go back again. Let me pick a JPEG, an image. Um, there's a title, Manitou Park Pond, Spokane, 1920s. Very good. Uh, there's a narrative text. That's the caption on it. Um, excuse me, that's not the caption. The narrative text is where you put your credit line. Image from the Frank W. Gilbert albums, Northwest Room, Spokane Public Library, Spokane, Washington. Make sure you give credit where credit is due on these objects. Um, we have a lot of partners. People are cooperating with us from the Spokane Public Library to the Spokane Valley H History Museum. We want to honor them. We want to make sure they get credit for the materials that they've allowed us to use. So that's it. That's, uh, let me take, just go back one more time and make sure there's not anything else I need to remind you about. Um, tags, we're not really using tags, uh, but map. Don't forget to map it. And as we said before, you can enter an address and double check and see if that's right. Um, or you can simply click in place and I won't change uh, Tracy. Stop by doing that. And of course, don't forget to save changes when you're done. That's it. That's what goes into a top-notch stop, uh, as much as you are all creating right now. 
um, after I've looked over your stuff, after I've graded it according to the standards I posted uh, two weeks ago, I'll go ahead and click to make it public. And if it's really good, I'll click to make it featured. Uh, it's been a great class. Don't hesitate to call me if you have any questions. Bye-bye.